long awaited by me. <laughs> um, so we're super happy that it's in and that we can um, remember Sean. I feel like it's pretty full circle. I'm coming to the end of my six years as mu Music Booster President. Started with Sean. And I, I love that we get to remember him once more tonight. Um, I, I don't really have a ton to say, except that I'm just continually amazed at the legacy of Sean, the memory of him, the energy that the kids have when they remember him. Um, I guess I didn't really, you know, at the end of the year we do these award ceremonies and those of you who have been to an award ceremony that Sean put on, um, he would just, there's a lot of emotions, <laughs> right? I mean, somebody would come up and he would just get all choked up and it's really emotional, but I, it really, I didn't appreciate how much of, of the friendships that were there that, um, that he created with these kids um, until after he passed and I got to hear all these stories from everybody. So I know it's been rough for some of these students um, over the last two years coming back into the band room and not seeing Sean. Um, and um, many of them are going to perform tonight for you guys because they really, they really want to. Um, and so we've got a couple speakers. Um, I'd like to invite Ann Lerner to speak for us. She's been with I know I got to I'm, I'm a day out of isolation, COVID isolation, so I'm gonna. I know I'm outside. Um, well, gosh, Sean and I started together in 2001, and um, he was right out of UCLA, and I just kind of happened into the orchestra job, which is where I'm leaving. So I feel like it's come from. Oh, from I, I now I'm gonna be the one to lose it. Um, it's come full circle. <laughs> um, Sean, this place right here used to be a, a, like a wooden amphitheater with bricks and we had concerts out here sometimes and um, we always wanted to have a concert like a part of our concert series to be out here and and it's changed and it's wonderful and I love seeing the kids sit out here and I think having the bench uh, the bench here um, is just more than fitting and um, I'm not going to say a whole lot more because I don't think I can um, but he was a, just a uniquely um, wonderful person in so many ways and uh, he touched there's a reason that he's remembered so fondly um, and there is he I'm so glad to see that his spirit not only is going to live on you guys and through the students to come but also every time we see his name here so um, thank you for for doing this I think it's a totally fitting tribute to him Thanks. Kendra is gonna say a few words I've known Mr. Castle since I was in fifth grade. He was incredibly influential to me and my family. Whenever I would see him when I was in middle school, he would tell me how excited he was for me to be joining his class. He was one of the kindest and purest souls I've ever met, and all I wanted was for him to be proud of me. He saw potential in everyone before they could, but always made sure to encourage us in a positive way. Mr. Castle had a strong passion for music that was so visible. He talked about music in a way that made it seem like it was the only thing he cared about. He would get so immersed in the music that he would forget we were all sitting in the room. I aspire to be like that someday. I want what he had, a love so strong that it carries me away. My favorite thing about Mr. Castle was how he made an effort to make personal connections with all of his students. He was always checking in on us and asking how we were doing. He would make casual conversation with us during class laps around the track. He would ask us about our weekend plans and then follow up about them the next week. He 
treated us like friends and I've always felt very comfortable around him. When he passed away, all I could think about was how he would have wanted me to continue in music. He would have wanted me to stay strong and keep learning. Every time I step foot in the band room, I'm reminded of how much music meant to him. I can feel his passion and devotion lingering in the room. To me, that room will always be his room. Mr. Castle's band room is the room where I decided I want a future in music. It is the room where he touched so many. On awards night, he would make a speech about every senior saying how far they've come and how much they meant to him. He would cry for every kid, and I remember him talking about my brother. After that, I longed for the day to come when Mr. Castle would say the same things about me when I was a senior. I'm sad that I will never get to hear those words but Mr. Castle, I hope you're up there looking down and that you're proud of all of us. I want to invite the Castle family up. Um, we've got Chris Castle, Kent Castle, Darren Castle here. So just the fact that everyone's here is testimony to, to the support of, uh, of the music program and the school. Uh, we're very grateful. Thank you very much, yeah. Thank you. jazz band uh, as a freshman and so he also knew Mr. Castle quite well and he put together this group of mostly seniors and a few freshmen um, and he's going to introduce them. So to, uh, to honor Sean who is this 
beacon of musical inspiration, we decided to play I Remember Clifford by Benny Golson, which was a song composed in memory of Clifford Brown, a great trumpeter who uh, passed away. And uh, we thought that it was fitting um, to honor Sean's legacy as a source of light and inspiration to everyone around him. So we will be featuring Luca on the trumpet for this one. And I hope you know.
beautiful night of awards um, to recognize a whole bunch of kids. So have a little treat and then mosey over there. <laughs>